In this video, I'll be birding a disc golfing course. Come with me as I wander through this unique birding location, searching for these secretive birds. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. In this video, we're gonna be birding at Sandpoint Disc Golfing, a local disc golfing place here where I'm at. I often come here for disc golfing, but I haven't done much birding, so I'm excited to see what unique finds we can find here. Just out in front of me, we've already heard a chipping sparrow and a couple other unique species, so we're really excited to get into it. Stay tuned. After arriving at the disc golfing location, we immediately started walking around and started to notice birds, such as chipping sparrow. The chipping sparrow can be identified by its rufous crown and gray body. They can be found summering throughout most of Canada and the lower 48 and wintering in more southern areas. Continuing on, we looked up to see a few cedar wax wings flying by. Well, we passed by the first three disc golfing sets and picked up a few cool species such as chipping sparrow, American crow, and cedar waxwing. I can still hear some swings and thrushes and other more forest birds in towards the rest of the course, so we're going to head that way. As we continued listening, the sounds of the forest came alive. We keyed into this great horned owl hooting nearby. Well, the Swainson's thrush will continue to sing somewhere out there in the unknown, but who knew birding at a disc golfing location could be so great? I mean, we got several species, cedar waxwings, pretty good flyover looks at them, beautiful looks of that male chipping sparrow, and then of course those beautiful Swainson's thrushes. This place has been incredible. So although we didn't get the views of the Swainson's thrushes like we were hoping, I hope this sunset shot makes up for it. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.